There's a miracle molecule of sleep apnea that can be the difference between like snoring and waking up feeling exhausted or being able to sleep quietly through the night, wake up completely refreshed and not having to always use a CPAP. So let's talk about this molecule here. So this molecule actually won the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine, not the Nobel Peace Prize. It is the nitric oxide molecule. There are two huge reasons that this is important. Reason number one, it will vasodilate. That makes blood vessels bigger. Now, why the heck are blood vessels relevant to a breathing disorder? Great question that you didn't ask, or maybe you did. When you have small blood vessels, it will congest the blood in your nose. Is your nose easier or harder to breathe through when it's congested? So if nitric oxide dilates and allows for blood to flow, it is easier for air to flow through your nose and nasal breathing will actually reduce apnea episodes at night. Big reason number two is that the more nitric oxide you have in your lungs, this will actually help oxygen and nitric oxide. Think of them like buddies. They will go across the membranes of your lungs a lot better so you will absorb more oxygen from your air. Obviously that's important because sleep apnea, oxygen levels go down. So anything we can do to keep them up is gonna be a thumbs up. Filming this, I forgot to give you the exercise to increase nitric oxide. It is just simply humming on an exhale for three to five minutes. Do it before bed. Well, nitric oxide is but one of many molecules for sleep apnea. I would not say it is the most important. I wanna cover that next. Before I do, if you want some help, you want great breathing at night, go to apneareset.com forward slash thrive. Now let's talk about this other molecule. So here's why this molecule is more important than nitric oxide. You have a narrowing in your airway. It's like breathing through a straw, it forces you to breathe faster. That will actually pull your tongue to the back of the throat, blocking the airway off. Thus, if we can just slow down that inhale, then airway muscles stay in place, airway open, you're happy. That's where carbon dioxide comes in. That's the other molecule. It's the most important molecule of sleep apnea and your brain responds to carbon dioxide. In sleep apnea, it's over responsive. But if you retrain your CO2 tolerance, meaning you can tolerate higher levels of CO2, you're not as reactive, then you can have slower, more steady breathing at night to help you sleep better. So slow breathing exercises, box breathing is just one example of many, will help reset that CO2 thermometer, if you will, or thermostat. I guess it's really a thermostat. <laughs> so that's why that is the more important molecule. Now, if you want more direct ways to target that, go to apneareset.com forward slash thrive to check it out.